Hi all, this is a complete guide for Leanna Darkwind's part of the Family Butler achievement. Timestamps will be in the description so you can easily jump to the fight you want. First up is Hobbyist Aquarist. Your first pet is a Bleak Water Jelly or similar pet with Tentacle Slap, Tidal Wave and Squeeze and then two Otters or similar pets, each with Gnaw, Screech and Dive. This one may take a try or two to work. Start with Squeeze. and then use Tentacle Slap until the lesser charged Gale is defeated. Once the Gale is defeated, the lesser Twisted Current enters. Start with Tidal Wave, this removes the Void Cyclone debuff. Now you squeeze on cooldown and tentacle slap to fill until your jelly or the lesser twisted current is defeated. Once your jelly is defeated, bring in your first otter. If the lesser twisted current is still alive and your otter is slower, then start with screech and then gnaw until the current is defeated. If your otter is faster than the twisted current, then just use gnaw. Once the Twisted Current is defeated, the Mind Warper enters. Pass or anything the first round, the Warper will use Counter Spell and interrupt your cast anyway. Follow this with Screech. And now follow this priority. Use Gnaw until the Screech debuff has one round remaining. Once the Screech debuff has one round remaining, either cast Gnaw or Dive if this hit will finish off the Warper. Otherwise cast Screech to reapply the slow. Follow the same priority with your final pet to finish up. Next up we have Beast Mode. Your first pet is a Zandalari Ankle Render. I used a Power Speed version. This may also work with a Speed Speed version. Either way, this one needs a speed above 301. With Hunting Party, Primal Cry and Black Claw. Your second pet is a Lurking Owl Kitten. With Quills, Screech and Feathered Frenzy. And finally, a Cinder Pup with Flame Breath and Crouch. Start with Black Claw, followed by Hunting Party, the second round of Hunting Party should finish off the Gale and the Twisted Current will enter, cast Black Claw, followed by Primal Cry and now use Black Claw until defeated. Once your ankle render is defeated, bring in your owl kitten. Start with feathered frenzy. And then quills until the twisted current is defeated. Once the current is defeated, the mind warper enters. Pass or anything the first round. The warper will use counter spell so you'll be interrupted anyway. Now cast screech and then do whatever damage you can until defeated. Once your Owl Kitten is defeated, your Cinder Pup enters. If your Owl Kitten didn't get Screech off, then start with Crouch and then use Flame Breath until the fight is done. If your Owl Kitten got a Screech off, then just use Flame Breath until done. This can be RNG, so may take a few tries. Now for critters with huge teeth, your first pet is Nuts with Woodchipper, Crouch and Stampede. Your second pet is a Dark Moon Hatchling with Peck, Screech and Flock. And finally, any critter pet with Flurry. Again, this can be RNG, so may take a try or two. Start with Crouch, followed by Woodchipper.
and then stampede. Once stampede is finished, cast wood chipper. This should finish off the gale and the twisted current will enter. Start with wood chipper, followed by stampede until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Dark Moon Hatchling and cast Peck until the Twisted Current is defeated. Should take one or two. Once the Twisted Current is defeated, the Mind Warper enters. Start with Screech and then use Flock until defeated. Once defeated, your rabbit enters, cast flurry until the fight is done. Next we have dragons make everything better. Your first pet is a bronze proto whelp with tail sweep and sandstorm. Your second pet is a stormborn whelpling with frost breath, mana surge an arcane storm, and finally, Emigosa with breath. Start with your bronze proto whelp and spam tail sweep until the lesser charged gale is defeated. Once the gale is defeated, the twisted current enters. Start with sandstorm. and then use Tail Sweep until your Bronze Proto Whelp is defeated. Once defeated, bring your Stormborn Whelpling. Start with Arcane Storm. Followed by Mana Surge. This will finish off the Twisted Current, and the Mind Warper will enter, and be hit by any remaining rounds of Mana Surge. Once Mana Surge is finished, cast Arcane Storm on cooldown and Frost Breath to fill until your Stormborn Whelpling is defeated. Once defeated, your Emigosa will enter, spam Breath until the fight is done. Next is Element of Success. Your first pet is an unstable tendril with tentacle slab, scorched earth and elementium bolt. Your second pet is a fell flame with flame breath, scorched earth and conflagrate. And finally, just as backup, a blaze hound with obsidian bite, frenzy and puppies of the flame. Start with scorched earth. and then use Tendril Slap until the gale is defeated. Once the gale is defeated, the Twisted Current enters. Start with Elementium Bolt. Followed by Scorched Earth. And then use Tentacle Slap until defeated. Once your tendril is defeated, bring in your fell flame. The twisted current will then be hit by elementium bolt and stunned. Cast conflagrate. The twisted current will swap out for the mind warper, who will then be hit by this. Now simply use scorched earth on cooldown, conflagrate on cooldown, and flame breath to fill until the mind warper is defeated.
Once the mind warper is defeated, the twisted current re-enters. Follow the same priority as before. Scorch death on cooldown, conflagrate on cooldown, and flame breath to fill until the fight is done. If your fell flame is defeated, use your backup pet to clean up. Now for fun with flying. Your first pet is Icky, with Savage Talon, Black Claw, and Flock. Your second pet is a Felbat Pup, with Bite, Screech, and Paralyzing Venom. And finally, a Snowfeather Hatchling, or similar pet, with Falcator Swarm, Crouch, and Predatory Strike. Start with Icky, and cast Black Claw, followed by Flock. The second round of Flock should finish off the Gale and the Twisted Current enters. And sit by the final round of Flock. Once Flock is finished, cast Savage Talon until the Twisted Current is defeated. Should take two. Once the Twisted Current is defeated, the Mind Warper enters, apply Black Claw, and then use Flock until your Icky is defeated. Once your Icky is defeated, bring in your Felbat Pub, apply Screech, if interrupted, cast it on the next round, follow this with Paralyzing Venom, now refresh the Screech debuff at one round remaining, otherwise bite until the fight is won or your Felbat is defeated. If your Felbat is defeated, use your Snowfeather's Predatory Strike and Falcator Swarm to finish up. Next we have Human Resources. This one is a tough one, will require many tries. If possible, I would miss this trainer out for this achievement. However, your first pet is a Curious Oracle Hatchling with Water Jet and Aged Yolk. Your second pet is a Dandelion Frolicker, I used a balanced speed version with Bite and Dazzling Dance. And finally, a Kunlai Runt, I used a Power Power Braid, although I think a speed version may work better, but didn't have one to try, with Takedown, Frost Shock and Deep Freeze. Start with your Curious Oracle Hatchling and spam Water Jet until the Gale is defeated. Once the Gale is defeated, the Twisted Current enters. Start with Aged Yoke to remove the Void Cyclone debuff. Now cast Water Jet until defeated. If you don't hit with Water Jet two times, this will likely fail. Once defeated, bring in your Frolicker. Cast Dazzling Dance and then use Bite until the Twisted Current is defeated. Once the Current is defeated, the Mind Warper enters. Refresh Dazzling Dance and then cast Bite, you should then be defeated. Once defeated, your Kunlai Run enters. Start with Frost Shock, followed by Deep Freeze, and then Takedown. This should hopefully win you the fight. Good luck with this one, it's a pain. Now for Magician's Secrets. Your first pet is a Grasping Manifestation with Tentacle Slap, and Foreboding Curse. Your second pet is an Enchanted Pen with Quills, Count Spell and Foreboding Curse. And finally a Sanctum Cub with Pounce, Leap and Black Claw. Start with your Manifestation and spam Tentacle Slap until defeated. This will usually be when the final pet enters or just before.
Once your manifestation is defeated, bring in your enchanted pen. If your manifestation was defeated by the twisted current, use your enchanted pen's quills to finish the twisted current off. Once the twisted current is defeated, the mind warper enters. If your manifestation is still alive, cast Foreboding Curse until defeated. If your enchanted pen is the active pet, apply Foreboding Curse. If interrupted, cast it on the next round. Follow this with counter spell. Now simply keep Foreboding Curse active and quilts to fill until if and when defeated. If you are about to be defeated, try and reapply Foreboding Curse. If defeated, your Sanctum Cub enters, cast Black Claw, followed by Pounce until the fight is done. Next up is Machine Learning. Your first pet is an Iron Starlet. This needs to be a Power Power version. If you don't have one of these, this strat is still possible. See the timestamps in the description for the strat for this. It's slightly different. With Wind Up, Power Ball, and Supercharge. Your second pet is a Dark Moon Zeppelin. With Missile, Explode, and Thunderbolt. And finally, a Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. With Breath, Thunderbolt, and Decoy. Start with your Starlet, cast Wind Up to Charge, followed by Supercharge, Wind Up to Hit, and then use Power Ball until the Gale is defeated. Should take three. Once the gale is defeated, the twisted current enters, cast wind up to charge, supercharge, and then wind up to hit. This should finish off the twisted current and the mind water enters. You will usually have enough health left to do a wind up to charge and hit, and then you'll be defeated. Once your Starlet is defeated, bring your Mechanical Pandaren and Dragon Lane. Start with Decoy. Followed by Thunderbolt, you'll be interrupted, so cast this on the next round. And then use Breath until the fight is done. If your Dragonling is defeated, use your Zeppelin to finish up. If you don't have a power power breed starlet, this fight is still possible, but varies for different breeds, so your mileage will vary. Start as before, with wind up to charge, supercharge, and wind up to hit, but this time, use power ball until your starlet is faster than the gale, at which point, cast wind up to charge and hit. Once the gale is defeated, the twisted current enters, cast wind up to charge, supercharge, and wind up to hit. 
This will finish off the Twisted Current and the Mind Warper enters. Do whatever damage you can before being defeated, which is usually none. Once defeated, bring in your Zeppelin. Cast Thunderbolt. Followed by Explode. If interrupted, cast on the next round. After using Explode, your Mechanical Pandaren Drangling enters. Start with Decoy. And then use Breath and or Thunderbolt to finish up. And finally, not quite dead yet. Your first pet is Mr. Bigglesworth with Pounce, Frost Nova and Ice Tomb. Your second pet is Scraps with Claw and Super Bark. And finally, any level 25 undead pet with Tail Sweep or similar ability. Start with Ice Tomb. Followed by a Pounce. Then Frost Nova. And now Pounce until the Gale is defeated. Once the Gale is defeated, the Twisted Current enters. Cast Pounce until Ice Tomb comes off cooldown. Once Ice Tomb is off cooldown, cast it. Follow this with one pounce. Then Frost Nova. And now use pounce until your Mr. Bigglesworth is defeated. Once Mr. Bigglesworth is defeated, bring in Scraps. Cast Claw until the Twisted Current is defeated. Once the Twisted Current is defeated, the Mind Warper enters. Pass or ending the first round. The Mind Warper will use Counter Spell and interrupt you. Now cast Super Bark and then Claw until Scraps is defeated. Once defeated, use your final pet's tail sweep to finish up. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching.